Let's have a look at this classic Euclidean geometry problem. So we are given that angle R2 is equals to X. So this angle here is equals to X. Also, there are a few sides that are equal in length. PQ, QS, SR, and MS are all equal in length and that's a given. So the first question is they want us to prove that angle P is equals to X. So in other words, they want us to prove that this angle here is equals to X. Notice that in triangle SQR, these two sides are equal in length and therefore angle SQR is an isosceles triangle. What we know about isosceles triangles is that are, the base angles are equal. So therefore, it would automatically mean that angle Q1 is also equals to X. Also to take note that uh, side PS, side PS and side QR are parallel sides and there's a Z shape that forms. So it's easy to identify this angle here. S1 as being equal to Q1. So S1 is equal to Q1, which is equal to X because of alternate angles. So S1 is equal to X because of alternate angles. Notice that triangle PQS is an isosceles triangle because these two sides are equal. So it's therefore possible to find this angle because we know base angles for an isosceles triangle are equal so therefore P is equals to X P is equals to X angle P because triangle PQS is an isosceles triangle let's have a look at the second question we need to prove that triangle PSQ PSQ is congruent to R S Q. Congruent means they are equiangular. All corresponding angles for both triangles are equal in size, and all three corresponding sides for both triangles are equal in length. That is the meaning of congruency, and this is the symbol that designates what congruency stands for. So in triangle PQS and triangle SQR, we can see that this side is equally long for both triangles. So we can say that side SQ is equals to QS because they're common for both triangles. So that's a common side. We can also say that SR is equals to PQ and that's a given. So those are a set of common sides and angle S1 is X, angle Q1 is X and those are alternate angles. So therefore, through the condition side, side, angle, we can say that these two triangles are congruent. So triangle PQS is congruent to triangle SQR and the reason is side, side, angle. Remember there are five conditions to prove congruency. So let's have a look at the last question. To prove that angle M is equal to 90 degrees minus X. The first thing that comes to mind is that um, this triangle MQR is having interior angles that add up to 180 degrees. So that is a property that we can work with. We can say that the sum of the interior angles M plus Q 
plus r is equals to 180 degrees right the reason why we write this equation out is because we know in the triangle mqr we are working with x and that's where we are heading to in our proof notice that we can also write angle r in terms of r1 plus r2 so i can say m plus q plus r1 plus r2 is equals to 180 degrees so in the given equation i can confidently say that q and r2 are equal because angle triangle sqr sqr is an isosceles triangle and base angles are equal and both q and r2 are equal to x so i can essentially rewrite this equation m plus x plus r1 plus x is equals to 180 degrees so let's pay attention to angle r is m notice that these angles angle m and angle r1 are the same because in this triangle m is r these two sides are equal and therefore m is r is an isosceles triangle so base angles are the same so instead of having r1 we can substitute that with m because these two are equal so i'm going to rewrite this as m plus x plus m plus x is equals to 180 so if we collect like terms 2m plus 2x is equals to 180 degrees so we can factor out 2 so we have angle m plus x is equals to 180 degrees so m plus x is equals to 90 degrees therefore angle m is equals to 90 degrees minus x thank you guys so much for watching